Hello subscribers, welcome to part 4 in my ongoing series reviewing In the Beginning, The Bible Stories. <laughs> This might just be the shortest episode of the series, because the story covered in this episode is the Tower of Babel, and this is all that's said about the Tower of Babel in chapter 1 of Gen chapter 11 of Genesis. That's it. 20 minutes of anime from these few lines, and the anime doesn't even mention Nimrod, who created the city. Of course, this section doesn't n mention Nimrod either. You have to go into chapter 10 to get his name. In order to fill time, the anime makes up a completely made up character, some kid named Asif, who journeys to Babel to look at this new city that's being built out of stone. And he is a really annoying character. Uh, tell me, what is this tower for? How high is it going to go? Get out of here! Go away! <laughs> So, rather than telling the story of the Tower of Babel in a more narrated, objective way, we get this subjective experience of seeing it through the eyes of this annoying little brat named Asif. Which is fine, I guess, but again, it's only nine verses they're pulling from. One positive note I can mention is, because the creators of this anime took this subject matter seriously, as far as I can tell, they have a, they end up showing a pretty good view of God and idolatry. This city is filled with deceit and arrogance. The god of this city is made of stone. The true god is a flame you cannot see, an ocean you cannot touch, a force you cannot resist. The Almighty cannot be weighed like a stone, and his might is fearsome. My father said the same thing. But still, I would rather stay here. So that's a pretty accurate, pretty good way to describe God, especially as compared to the false gods of the time. Now, on a more continuity note, there's one oddity, which I didn't really bother recording enough of this scene to fully articulate the misstep that I'm pointing out here, but... <laughs> I guess you're not all bad. You've got some good points. If you really want to work, you can start on the level just above this tomorrow. All right. The wind is really strong up there. Be careful. I've lived all my life in the desert. I'm used to the wind. That's good. I did it. I'll get to the top for sure. Come back down here, right now. He's told to start work tomorrow, but immediately it shows him getting money as if he worked. It's not clear whether he's getting money on the next day. It sure feels like he's getting money on at the end of that very same day. So there's a continuity issue there. So then God confuses everyone's language and then destroys the Tower of Babel with this bolt of lightning, which was really unnecessary. The verses the story comes from does not mention the destruction of the city. When the languages were confused, they just stopped building. Given how little it actually sticks to the text, it's disappointing they didn't get this one part correct. They had such little stuff to actually get correct, it's disappointing that they wouldn't get it entirely correct. So then Asif goes home, which if I didn't mention earlier, he ran away from home to, well, ran away with his father's permission to go check out this new city. And it really doesn't feel like that much time has passed. And it certainly doesn't look like it on his face. He's still drawn the same way. Yet we're treated to this silly scene. Tell me, are you Asif? Yes, you are Asif. I am your father. Don't you remember me? Father. 
father. Asher. I'm so glad that we still speak the same language. Okay, I just realized after watching that that I've been calling him Asif this whole time and his name is Asif. But why would his father need to remind him who he is? It doesn't seem like he was gone that long. And the last point I would want to bring up is part of me kind of wishes that they did end up speaking different languages at the end. Because that would have been nice. It wouldn't have made sense because they're related directly. But it would have been an interesting moral. Anyway, that's all of episode four. Not a whole lot to say on it because... 90% of it is not actually in the text. All right, see you in the next one.